Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I have put together another Clean With Me marathon. You guys absolutely love these marathons so much because that way you are just able to click play on this video and not have to worry about clicking onto other videos or anything. And you can just get all of your cleaning done along with me. Y'all have been asking me so much lately for another one of these. So I went ahead and compiled several of my last cleaning videos so that you guys can get all of the extreme cleaning motivation that you need. So just go ahead and put this up on your TV and clean right along with me. And if you guys like this video and want to see more cleaning marathons, be sure to hit that like button down below and also leave me a comment. And that just helps me know that you guys really want to see more of these. I hope you guys have an amazing day and enjoy the rest of this video. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be sharing a cook and clean with me. You guys absolutely love this. Last time I shared one of these, so I wanted to go ahead and share another one. And this time I'm actually going to be sharing my recipe for my whole wheat berry muffins. These are so, so delicious. They are super easy to make and they also are a bit healthier so you don't have that guilt when you're eating them. So I'm going to go ahead and make that recipe and share that with you guys. And then afterwards, we will go ahead and clean up the entire main living area and give you guys all the cleaning motivation that you need. So before we started making our muffins and pulling everything out for them, I wanted to make sure my island was nice and cleaned off and also wiped down. Okay, so Luke is actually going to be helping me bake these today. So do you want to tell him the ingredients? Yes. So first you will need baking powder. Yep. Then whole wheat flour, sea salt, um, berries. And those are frozen berries? Yep, frozen berries. Um, apple, applesauce, um, silk almond milk, brown sugar, cinnamon, and butter. These three will be for the topping for the muffins. Yeah, you remember these muffins we make? Yep, they're blueberry, they're so they're, good. Yeah, they're super, super good. All right, let's get to it. I always like to put a recipe card in my videos like you just saw, and that way you can go ahead and just screenshot them if you want, but now we will just kind of go into how we make these muffins. So first off, you are just going to take two cups of whole wheat flour and add that into a big bowl. And then you will add in three teaspoons of baking powder and half a teaspoon of salt. And then you'll just go ahead and mix that up really well. And then in a smaller bowl, you will go ahead and add in one and a quarter cups of applesauce and also a quarter cup of milk. We are just using unsweetened almond milk, but you can definitely use whatever kind of milk you like. So you're just going to go ahead and mix that up really well and then you'll want to make a well in the center of your flour mixture and pour your milk and applesauce mixture into that.
and then just stir that well to combine. And this is not going to be a really runny mixture at all. It's actually going to be quite stiff. I'm going to kind of show you how it will look, but these turn out so, so good. I've been holding on. So once you have your batter nicely combined, you are going to add in one heaping cup of frozen berries. You can also use fresh berries if you want, but I've just found that frozen berries work just as well and they are definitely a lot cheaper unless if you get them on a sale. So this is how we generally make ours. Once you get all of your batter mixed up with your berries, you are going to grab a baking sheet and you can either oil a traditional baking sheet or you can get a silicone one like I have here. And if you have a silicone muffin sheet, then you actually don't have to oil it at all. I got mine from Amazon and I will leave it down in the description box. I really love it and it's really nice to not have to use any oil. And another little tip that I've found over the years is if you use a scooper like this, it makes it so easy to add muffins into muffin tins and also even pancakes. This is how we make our pancakes as well as we use this little scooper and it just makes it so easy and way less messy. I really love baking and cooking with our kids. I think it's a really fun thing to teach them and it definitely will serve them later in life. I know it was a little bit harder for me when I was a little bit younger mom, but as the years have gone on, I've gotten a lot more patient with the kids helping out because it does end up taking a little bit longer, but they have so much enjoyment helping out and they also are definitely learning a lot of good skills that can help them on later in life. So I do think it is so worth it to go ahead and incorporate your kids. But let me know in the comments below what you do. Next, you're just going to make your streusel. So you'll need to grab a small bowl and then add in one quarter cup of butter, one third cup of brown sugar, and make sure not to pack this. Honestly, you could probably get a little bit less sugar, but just definitely do not pack this. It will be sweet enough. And then just add in one teaspoon of cinnamon and give that a good mix. Once your topping is all mixed together, you're just going to go ahead and distribute that onto each of your muffins. You may end up having a little bit leftover and I actually suggest not using all of it if you end up having leftover as we did here, just because if you end up putting too much on, it can kind of overflow and make a little bit of a mess. So in this case, less is actually better. Now this is totally optional, but I usually just end up smushing it down a little bit and that is just so it seems to cover the entire muffin a little bit better and not make as big of a mess. The last thing you need to do is put it in a 375 degree oven for 20 to 25 minutes or until it is baked all the way through. Now it is time to get on to the clean with me portion and get you guys some good cleaning motivation. So the first thing I'm doing is just clearing off the counters. I didn't really clean up as we were going because we were filming this. So I just needed to put all the ingredients away that we had used to make the muffins. And then of course there were a few other items left on my counter so I wanted to just go ahead and tidy those up. So today I'm just cleaning up our main living area, but be on the lookout for Monday's video because it is a whole house clean with me. It has some serious cleaning motivation. So make sure you are subscribed with that notification bell on because you guys are not going to want to miss that. It is probably my best cleaning video that I have ever filmed. I am super, super excited to share that with you guys and see what you think. 
Next, I'm just moving on to our dishes. I actually had quite a bit of dishes sitting in the sink. One, because we did not clean up after breakfast. And then I also just added a bunch of dishes for making those muffins. But I usually try and empty out my sink a few times a day. It's usually after every meal. And that way I don't feel like I'm doing a whole sink full of dishes very often, which is really nice. Let me know how often you clean your dishes every day. Do you go ahead and clean them in bulk and clean everything all at once? Or do you do like I do and kind of break it up throughout the day? So once I got our dishwasher all loaded up, I just needed to hand wash a few of our items. I usually just hand wash our knives and our pans. And every single cleaning video I share, it never fails. I always get so many questions from you guys about my Bubble Up dish brush and my Bubble Up sponge dish. So I get both of these from Grove Collaborative and I absolutely love them. Let me know in the comments if you guys have gone ahead and tried them. And if you do, let me know which one you prefer or if you're like me and you just kind of love the versatility of having both of them. As I said, I do get these from Grove Collaborative and I also have a link down below which can get you several free goodies. So if you are interested in ordering from them, definitely check out that link and get yourself some free goodies. Next, I'm just cleaning out my sink with some dish soap because I had a lot of dishes sitting in here. And there's nothing quite like having a clean sink. I think it makes everything else in your kitchen feel so much cleaner when your sink is nice and shiny. I'm also adding a few drops of peppermint oil into my sink. I usually do this about every day and it makes such a difference in your sink. It will smell so good. So if you have not tried this little trick and jumped on this little bandwagon, definitely do. You will not regret it. Then I just needed to wipe off my counters and I am just using my all-purpose e-cloth today. I know you guys know that I use this all the time. I love it. It is so nice because it actually cleans and disinfects using just water. So it makes cleaning really, really nice, especially if you're kind of in a hurry or you just want to kind of skip an extra step. And I'm super excited because once in a while e-cloth will share a coupon with me and they are actually sharing a 25% off coupon with me right now. I don't think I've ever had a coupon that high. So you guys definitely need to jump on it if you guys are wanting to go ahead and order from them. Definitely take advantage of this coupon. It will be good until December 19th, so that is one week away. So I will leave that link and coupon down below. I will also leave my favorite items below as well. And that way you guys can make sure that you're getting the ones that I am really recommending. But really, I have not tried anything from them that I haven't actually loved. I feel like I always use a few of their basics. They just work so incredibly well. But if you have tried e-cloth before, let me know in the comments and let me know which some of your favorite products are because I would love to kind of expand my collection and grab a few of their different items as well. So you guys know that I am a mom of three little boys and especially our littlest one gets his fingerprints all over the entire fridge somehow and I have to clean this about every single day or if I'm feeling kind of lazy I might just clean it every other day but it really could be cleaned every single day. So I am just showing you the fingerprints that are all over our fridge and I am just going to be cleaning this off with the e-cloth all-purpose cloth and then polishing it and drying it off with the e-cloth glass and polishing cloth. And this little combination works so amazing on stainless steel. You don't need any products or anything. And it is seriously the best thing I have ever found to clean our stainless steel. It gets it looking so shiny and takes away all the fingerprints. I swear it is magic.
Moving into the living room, it wasn't really too messy in here, but I needed to just kind of tidy up a few of the toys, which of course I put into our little toy bin that we keep down here. And then every few nights or so, we will take that upstairs and put it away in the playroom. And I know I have talked about it before, but this little bin saves me so much time and really helps out with not having to run everything back up to the playroom. Instead, we can just put it in the bin and it kind of looks more tidied and then we can actually put things where they go later on. As you can see, our jingle bells are already falling off our tree. They've been falling off every single day because of our cats and also our little guy. So the closer it gets to Christmas, the more bare the bottom of our tree is. It ends up looking a bit sad down there, but that's just how it goes when you have pets and kids. Let me know if your guys' tree ends up the same because I know that I'm not alone in this. Since Kyle was home today, he just went ahead and started vacuuming the floors for me while I finished tidying up. And then once I finished tidying everything up, I just went over to Kyle and had him switch me for the mop because you guys know I really don't like mopping very much. So I just finished vacuuming everything and he went ahead and mopped the rest of our hardwood floors. And the mop that he is using is our e-cloth mop. I actually got this a while back and I have been really loving it. It's really nice when I don't want to pull out our steam mop or anything and I just want something really quick and easy, but also something that really cleans our floors well. So this is the Ecloth Aqua Spray Mop. Like I said, I do have that coupon, so if you guys are interested in getting something like this, I highly recommend it, and you definitely should take advantage of that coupon right now because you can get it for 25% off. But all you do with this mop is you just fill up the little container with water, and then it just sprays out as you go. It's almost like a reusable Swiffer, but better. And then you also just have these reusable pads that you can just toss into your washer. And if you guys don't sweep your floors after they are already clean, then you definitely need to because Noah is going hard at this and he is doing an amazing job. <laughs> Once everything was nice and clean, the muffins had had time to cool and the boys were super excited to come eat their muffins and pick which ones they wanted, as you can see. If you guys end up trying out these muffins, please come back and let me know or tag me over on Instagram. I will leave my handle up here, but I love when you guys let me know that you're trying my recipes and that you guys love them. It always makes me so happy to hear. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you got all the cleaning motivation that you were needing. And I hope you just enjoyed seeing our family in this video. It's always fun when I get to film with them as well. Do not forget to subscribe down below if you are not already. And also follow me over on Instagram. And I will see you guys in my next one.
Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be doing a whole house clean with me which will give you amazing cleaning motivation. I actually went out to a church function last night and Kyle had the boys. So let me know if your guys' husband is like this but he did awesome like getting them fed, getting them ready for bed, hanging out with them and playing but the house definitely suffered. So let me know that I'm not alone in that because I think that's just like a guy thing. But anyway, so now I'm going to go ahead and just kind of catch up on the house and repair the damages that were done. And then I am actually just going to go ahead throughout the entire house because I want to kind of bulk clean right now. And that way, like the rest of the week or most of the week, we can just kind of focus on the holiday fun and family time and not have to spend our time cleaning the house. So that is my goal for today. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get on into the cleaning. Okay, so I am just going to really quickly show you exactly what we are dealing with. And keep in mind, this is just on the main level. I'm also going to be taking you guys upstairs and tidying up up there. But yeah, we had a lot, a lot to get done in here. So get ready for some serious cleaning motivation, you guys. So if you watch my cleaning videos regularly, you know that I usually will start out in my kitchen and that's just because my kitchen is kind of like one of my first domino chores. And what I mean by a domino chore is it is the chore that will start to get me motivated to continue on cleaning. So I usually do start out in the kitchen, but today I just decided to kind of switch it up for you guys and start in my bedroom. And the first thing to do was to go ahead and change out my sheets. So several months ago, I actually went ahead and got a second sheet set for my bed and it has just made it so nice and convenient. That way I can go ahead and just make my bed up right in the morning whenever I'm changing out the sheets and I don't have to wait on them to wash and dry. So if you guys have not done that and you have the opportunity to do that, I definitely recommend it. It really makes it a lot easier on sheet changing day. And this is actually one of the last times that you guys will be seeing my bedroom set in our room. We finally decided to go ahead and get new bedroom sets. These ones are from Ikea, but we got them back way before Luke was even born. So we've had them like nine years or something. It's been forever. And they have traveled with us throughout all of our moves when we were in the military and everything. So we are definitely ready for a change. And I'm so excited to show you what the new ones are. If you guys have a guess of what color they are or what style they are, leave it down in the comments below. I'm curious if you can guess what style we are going for in our bedroom this time. Once my bed was made, I just needed to tidy up a few of the things on my floor and then start tackling the laundry. I say this all the time, but putting away laundry is something that I really dread. I try to stay on top of it as best I can, so I usually try and do about one load a day or so, and then I have a few days off, but I will actually link my laundry routine up here in an iCard, and then also down in the description box below in case you have not seen that one. But I just kind of share in that video how we break up our laundry throughout the week, so definitely check that out if you have not already. Next, once all the laundry is put away, I just wanted to tidy up my bathroom. I'm not doing a deep clean in here or anything because I do have a special day of the week that I do that. But today I just wanted to go ahead and kind of tidy everything up and wipe down counters, wipe down mirrors, and of course just clear off the countertops because as you can see, they can get a little bit messy sometimes. I'm sure you guys can definitely relate to that. 
And to clean off my countertops, I am just using the Method Anti-Back Bathroom Cleaner. I've been using this for months and months, like maybe even almost a year already, and I really love this stuff. It smells so good, and every time I use it, it just reminds me of a clean bathroom, so I totally associate it with that, and I absolutely love it. He's a And then to clean off my mirrors, I just use an e-cloth all-purpose cloth, and then to wipe them down and polish them and dry them off, I just use a glass and polishing cloth from e-cloth as well, and this little combination works so good. I have not found another glass cleaner or anything that works as well as this, and it's so nice because it cleans and disinfects with just water. And I do have a coupon code for you guys that will save you 25% off of your order in case if you want to order from e-cloth. I really love their cloths and I use them just about every day, so definitely check out that code and link in the description box below. And I believe that code will work for about two more days so you still have a little bit of time to use it. Next, I just needed to wash my sheets, so I am just using my homemade laundry detergent. I will link that up here for you guys if you haven't seen that. And then I also am just using some bleach that I got from Grove Collaborative. And that is one thing that I really love about white sheets is you are still able to bleach them. Then the last thing that I needed to do in my bedroom was just to go ahead and dust off the surfaces. And I'm just using this duster that I got from Grove Collaborative and it is really nice because you can just dry dust your areas and it holds onto the dust really well. And then also it is reusable so you can just toss the duster into the washing machine when you're done and then it is good to go for another use. Moving into the living room, I am just going to be tidying up all of these toys in here. As you can see, it looks like a tornado hit our house, and it pretty much did. It was just our three boys. And then they ended up heading out with Kyle on this day to go ahead and get some things to start working on our basement a little bit more. Kyle is working on finishing our basement ourselves, so it is kind of a long process, but the boys are always so excited to be included in that. And since I was filming this video, I decided to just go ahead and clean this all up myself, but this is usually something that I would have the boys help me out with since they definitely were the ones to make the mess. Fading in, fading out, my scars are all blurry, been underwater for too long, but there's no need to be worried. I felt your heavy breath through darkness. The smoke is getting close to my bed. I cannot make a sound. Empty lungs, sleeping but awake, paralyzed. So come. Next, I'm just going to be starting our diffuser in our living room. So I am just diffusing some clove and orange. I feel like this is such a good fall and winter scent. It smells so good throughout the house. And I do have a coupon code right now for 50% off of one of my diffusers that I have upstairs. So definitely check that out. As I always say, I do have a lot of those coupon codes and things down in the description box. So definitely check that out. But just having a diffuser run, especially while you're cleaning, it smells so good and it is just so peaceful and relaxing. So definitely something that I love to do. If you would let me go, I would let you in. So come. Next is the Play Doh. I know you guys saw this in the beginning, and this is something that my kids love, love, love to do so much. I don't know why they always are drawn to like the messiest activities, but they do love Play Doh, and usually I would have cleaned this up a lot better. But as I said, my husband was watching them, and 
I think husbands and guys just kind of focus more on having fun and don't focus as much on cleanup afterwards. So I was kind of left with a mess, but that works to your guys' advantage today because you guys are getting all of the cleaning motivation from this. So they did put away the Play-Doh last night so that it didn't dry out, but I just needed to put all the little Play-Doh tools away and then also all the little Play-Doh bits that got left out. And then I will actually go back and vacuum off our table with one of the attachments that I have a little bit later on. Next, I just needed to go into the kitchen and clear off our countertops. And I'm just noticing right now that our little calendar up in my windowsill has been changed to December 25th. It was definitely not Christmas when I filmed it. It's not even Christmas yet right now when you guys are watching this. But Liam has been loving changing the days to all different kinds of days. Usually he will do something crazy like December 55 or something that's not even a real thing. But speaking of December 25, I really cannot even believe that we are about a week away from Christmas. I am so not ready for it. As usual, December has completely flown by and I just can't believe that we are almost there. Let me know in the comments what are some of your favorite traditions to do for Christmas or also just for December. I feel like we still have a lot to do on our December Christmas bucket list, but I'm always curious on what things that you guys like to do because I know that you guys probably have amazing ideas that I might like to do with my family. Let me know if you're like me and you like to clean your sink on a daily basis. I have done this for so many years and I feel like it really makes such a big difference in your kitchen. It just makes everything feel so much cleaner. And I also like to add in some peppermint oil or any kind of essential oil really into your sink and it makes it smell so good. So to wipe my counters down, I am still using the Mrs. Meyers all-purpose spray in the peppermint scent. This one is my very favorite, and I do still have a coupon code down in the description box for you guys in case you want to order from Grove Collaborative. That is where I get most all of my cleaners, and that coupon code will give you several free goodies with your first order, so definitely check that out if you want to order from them. And the cloth that I'm using to wipe down is just the Grove Collaborative microfiber cloths. I hated microfiber cloths for the longest time and I still am not really a big fan of them because all the ones that I've tried, except for this one in particular, just makes my fingers feel so sticky, like my fingers kind of grab onto them and I just cannot stand it. But these ones don't do that at all, so I really love that. Then I just wanted to wipe down my appliances and I'm just going to be doing the same thing that I did for my mirrors in my bathroom. And I'm just using the e-cloth glass and polishing cloth to kind of polish everything off. And this gets your stainless steel so clean and streak free, it is amazing. So I do still need to go through and deep clean my oven, but for today I just wanted to wipe it down and I usually will do this maybe about once a week or so and that way it just never gets really super caked on and I don't have to sit there and scrub because you guys know I hate scrubbing anything else. So I try and kind of stay on top of those kind of chores. Moving into my office, I mostly just needed to tidy up in here and put some things away where they belong. And then once everything was nice and tidied up downstairs, I needed to go ahead and clean up our floors. 
So I get a ton of questions about my vacuum, but it is the Dyson V8 Absolute. And whenever we bought our Dyson, I actually chose this one because it had a better battery life. So it's able to go for, I believe, 40 minutes or so before it dies. And also it came with so many different attachments. So if you are looking for a Dyson, I definitely recommend this one. It is the V8 Absolute. And I will leave the link to this one down in the description box in case you wanna check it out. Also, if you guys have a different kind of cordless vacuum, let me know in the comments because I've heard a lot of good things about, especially Shark, I think, but I've never actually tried their vacuums. But I'm always curious to find out different products that work. Now it is time to clean off our table and just vacuum up any little bits of dried up Play-Doh. That is probably my biggest tip for if you have a huge mess with Play-Doh is pick up all the big pieces and then just let everything else kind of dry out because you can't really vacuum up the wet Play-Doh but once it dries out it is actually pretty easy to clean up. So if you guys find yourself having a Play-Doh mess, definitely try just kind of letting it go for a little bit, letting it dry up and then vacuuming it up with one of your attachments. And finally, our entire main floor is cleaned up and it is time to move on to upstairs. Okay, so I actually had to take a little bit of a break because I had to run to a doctor appointment, but I'm back now. So now we are going to go ahead and clean up the playroom, tidy up the boys' room a little bit, and then also go ahead and clean up their bathroom. And I'm going to be including the boys in this because it's a bit of a mess in here. So let's go ahead and get the rest of our cleaning motivation and the rest of this house cleaned up. So as you can see, our playroom was quite the mess but I definitely wanted to get the kids involved in this because I usually have them do this either on their own at night or sometimes I'll come in and help them out, but they definitely needed to be a part of this because they are the ones who created such a mess. I am actually planning to film a huge, huge toy room declutter right now because as you can see, we really have too many toys for the kids. It's hard because we have three boys and they all kind of play with the same toys. And so between Christmases and birthdays, they just kind of accumulate over time and you definitely end up having way more than you ever need. So we usually try and declutter a few times a year, but we will try and do one big purge before Christmas every year. And this time I'm really trying to go more minimal with our toys. So I'm planning to get rid of like pretty much everything. I mean, not everything, but like a lot of stuff. So definitely stay tuned for that video because I'm super excited to go ahead and get that done and definitely share with you guys and hopefully it will motivate you guys to go ahead and do the same. And my kids are also involved whenever we declutter their toys. So hopefully seeing my kids do it will encourage your kids to go ahead and want to do the same. And if you saw my Christmas home tour, you saw that I actually had moved the bed to a different area. We ended up kind of moving it back and just kind of like reorganizing it again because the kids kind of actually liked it that way because that way they can have some movie nights in there together on the weekends. So this is how we have it organized right now, but we will see what we end up deciding to do because I am planning to kind of revamp this room. We have been in this house getting close to a year now and I have really not done anything with this room as far as decorating. So I'm excited to go ahead and get that done. So while the boys and I were cleaning up upstairs, 
Kyle was actually cooking dinner for us. We've been using HelloFresh for a while. This is not sponsored at all, but we have been using some of their meal kits on really busy weeks. And it's been really nice because Kyle has kind of taken over cooking on the nights that we have HelloFresh sent to us because he is just totally able to do that and it really takes a lot off my plate. So it's been so, so nice. If you guys haven't tried them out, I definitely recommend them. I have a coupon for, I believe it's $40 off of your first box down in the description box. So you can check that out if that is something you are interested in to save yourself a little extra money. I didn't know it could be that strong Just let go and carry on oh, oh, oh. I didn't know what I was doing wrong All the things that go wrong oh, oh, oh. Didn't know it could be that strong Just let go and carry on While I was in the boys room, I decided to go ahead and turn on their diffuser. This one is really nice because it actually has Bluetooth in the back so we can have them listen to meditation at night. And since it was getting to be evening, I thought it was a good idea to go ahead and turn it on. But this is actually the one that I have the 50% off code for. So it makes it like $20, I believe. And then sometimes Amazon actually has a nine or $10 off coupon. So I know a lot of you guys have ended up getting this for about $10, which is a crazy good deal. So definitely check that link out if you want to order one of these because you are not going to find a better diffuser for a cheaper price. Moving into the boys bathroom again this is not a deep clean in here I'm just going to kind of be taking everything off the counters and wiping everything down and then I also wanted to clean off the mirror and again I'm just using my e-cloths to clean off the mirror Once the bathroom was clean, I wanted to light a candle in here and this one is from Bath & Body Works. It is the hot cocoa and cream. This has been one of our favorite winter candles. I absolutely love this one. It smells so, so good. And I love lighting candles in bathrooms. I feel like it is just so inviting and it makes everything smell so good. So I hope you guys enjoyed this whole house clean with me and I hope you guys got all the cleaning motivation that you need. Also leave me a comment if you guys have any recommendations for some videos that you guys want to see either before Christmas or in 2019 because I am kind of planning everything out right now. Do not forget to subscribe down below if you are not already and also follow me over on Instagram and I will see you guys in my next one. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be cleaning my entire main living area and also our bedroom. We are still kind of in that Christmas slump. Luke has been home from school. Kyle's been off of work an extra few days and we have just had so much going on. 
the house as like seriously, seriously taking a back seat. It is a complete disaster, so no judgment here, but I figured instead of me just going along and cleaning on my own, I would take you guys along with me and give you guys some good cleaning motivation. So I will go ahead and show you guys what I'm talking about, but we seriously have so, so much to get done. And I'm also planning to take our Christmas down. We always take it down on the first of the year. I was actually planning to take it down a few days ago, but I wanted to film it for you guys because you guys have been interested in that. So we are also going to be taking all of our Christmas decor down and getting a nice fresh start for the new year. So let me show you what I'm talking about, about how dirty our house is, and then we will get our hair put up and get to cleaning. About to leave. So as I said, our house was a complete disaster. It was already pretty bad from Christmas and just that Christmas slump that everyone gets into. But then we had to tear apart our entire bedroom and just take out all the drawers and everything and it got really, really bad. So you guys are going to be getting some extreme cleaning motivation in this Clean With Me today. I told you it was really, really bad. I don't think you guys have ever seen my house this dirty. I don't know, it just is the Christmas it's just what happens. So if you guys can relate to this, let me know in the comments so I don't feel so bad. And let's go ahead and just get on into this. I got my slippers on and we are ready to go. So if you watch my cleaning videos, you know that I usually always start out in my kitchen. And today I probably would have as well, except that as you can see, we still had a few dresser drawers that we needed to go through and we actually passed along our bedroom set to a local subscriber. So we were super excited to give that to them and it was so wonderful to meet her, but I was kind of in a rush at this time. So I wasn't able to go through everything perfectly. So I just went through everything that I thought we were going to be keeping and then everything that we were going to donate and throw away. And then I just put everything into a laundry basket that I knew we were probably going to keep. And Kyle and I will just go through that a little bit later. Next, it was just time to start clearing everything out of the living room and putting it where it belongs. We just got some new storage bins for our Christmas decor because a lot of them actually broke in the move, so I needed to empty those out. So these towels were actually sitting on our couch from the night before. I took them out of the dryer with good intentions to go ahead and fold them, but we were so tired that night we just decided to go ahead and go to bed. So that's why they are just sitting on our couch waiting to be folded today. And as hard as I try, I still can never figure out how to fold fitted sheets very well. I know there's a certain system that makes it pretty easy, but I just for the life of me cannot really figure it out well, so I just kind of do the best I can and put them away. Let me know if you are a master at fitted sheets or if you are like me and just cannot quite figure that one out. I don't like Just 
gotta give me something back you don't think before you act something really off about that give me something back so these are the storage benches that we had in front of our old bed and i love the storage so i think we're gonna try and figure out another place in our house to use them but they just don't really go in our bedroom right now anymore so as you can see, the boys had kind of been playing on them all day and they are kind of scattered throughout our house. So you'll see in a few minutes where the rest of them ended up and I am just bringing those upstairs. I think I'm gonna end up putting them in the boys' closets for now. Moving into the kitchen, you can see this is just a disaster. We had a little bit of everything all over the place. So the first thing I needed to do was go ahead and surface clean and just put everything back away where it belongs. Next, I needed to tackle my dishes. If you've seen my morning cleaning routine or watched some of my other cleaning videos, you know that our boys usually do this every single morning. But like I said, we are all just in a Christmas slump right now, so we are just kind of managing things a little bit different. I'm really looking forward to getting back into all of our routines because although I love Christmas time, I do feel like it's so chaotic just without all of your routines in place. So while I was filming and cleaning up the house, Kyle and the boys were actually downstairs working on our basement. I do plan to show you guys the basement, but right now it is just so crazy down there because we have all of our storage and then Kyle is also cutting a ton of boards and materials just to kind of finish the basement. But I definitely We'll show you guys that at some point. So I always like to mention whenever I wash my dishes because I get so many questions about my little dish station over here. So the little item that I have on the bottom is called a stoneware tray and I get this from Grove Collaborative. And then the little brushes that I use are the Bubble Up Dish Brush and the Bubble Up Sponge Dish. I get both of these from Grove Collaborative and they are so convenient. They work really well together and I love that it actually saves me so much dish soap. So you put a little bit of soap in the bottom and then you put a little bit of water on top and then you can just suds up your sponge or brush as needed and it is so, so convenient. So I do get most of my cleaning products from Grove Collaborative. I do talk about them a lot because that is just where I get all of my cleaning products and I get questions about them all the time. So I actually have a link down in the description box where you can go ahead and get some free cleaning products whenever you place your first order. So definitely check that out if you are interested in looking into some of these items. Of course, I am going to be cleaning up my sink. This is one of my favorite things to do. It just makes me feel like our kitchen is so much cleaner once our sink is nice and shiny. And if you're a returning subscriber, you might notice our sink looks a little bit different. We actually got a new sink over the holidays, so we just got a single basin sink and I absolutely love it. It is so nice having one single basin because we usually just wash our dishes in our dishwasher and then wash the big things in our sink. Let me know in the comments if you would prefer having a single basin or a double-sided sink because I was actually surprised that a lot of people still love the double-sided sink because I love the single basin. So let me know in the comments which your preference would be. Could I 
To wipe down my counters, I am just using my Mrs. Meyers Peppermint Spray. This is probably the last time I'm going to be using this for a little while because I'm actually almost out. I do have some backups, but I'm going to try and stretch them out throughout the year a little bit. And I just got a new set that I'm really excited to try. And like I said before, I do get all of my cleaning products from Grove Collaborative. I actually got a really big box recently. Let me know if you guys would like to see another Grove haul. You guys usually love seeing my Grove Collaborative hauls just to get new ideas on new products or products that I'm loving. So leave me a comment down below if you guys are interested in seeing that soon. So a few weeks ago, I went ahead and made a hot cocoa bar, and this is our first time making a hot cocoa bar. It was really fun, and the whole family has totally loved it. I told Kyle that I was going to take it down along with all the Christmas decorations, and him and the boys got pretty sad about it, so I decided to go ahead and just leave it up for the rest of winter, but I wanted to make it a little bit more compact, so I just wanted to move a few things around and make it a little bit smaller, but definitely still keep it because apparently they were not ready to give this one up. Using looking back, gotta laugh for gotta live. Cause I'm so over the past, and I'm living it fast. Mm -hmm. So, to clean up all of my appliances, I am just going to be using the e cloth all purpose cloth, and all you have to do is just get it wet with water, and then you just wash all of your appliances off, and it actually disinfects them just with water because of the technology in the cloth. So, I think that is so amazing. And I do have a link down below for them. If you guys have not tried e cloths, I definitely recommend them. You can also get them from Grove Collaborative as well. But I had searched and searched for so long to find something that gave my appliances that streak free shine and these are them. To this day, I have still not found anything that works quite as well as the e-cloth all-purpose cloth and the e-cloth glass and polishing cloth. These two are amazing together, and as you can see, it leaves the appliances so shiny.
so this is the big reveal. This is our bedroom set that we got. I had been talking about this for a few weeks because we were waiting for it to arrive. We absolutely love it. If you remember our old bedroom set, it was all dark and we actually had it for almost 10 years. So this is so different to get used to because it is just complete opposite of what we had, but we really love it and it's just nice to have a change after so long. And I just want to remind you guys, if you have not entered my giveaway, I have a huge giveaway going over on my clean and decorate video that I shared last week where I redid our guest room and our playroom. So definitely go enter that if you have not already because I'm giving away some amazing home products and bedding products. You guys are not going to want to miss that if you have not seen it already. So I didn't do the floors in the main living area just because I knew there was going to be so much fallout from all of our decor. So I wanted to save that for last, but now is the time that I needed to go ahead and start taking down all of my Christmas decor. Let me know in the comments if you have already taken down your decor or if you leave everything up for a few more days into January. I know some of you guys have told me that you leave it up to the 6th of January and some of you have said you leave it up to the middle of January and then others take it down the day after Christmas. We usually wait until the 1st of January, but we did it a little bit early this year. I don't know what it was. I think we were just ready for a fresh start and ready for the new year. So as soon as Christmas was done, we were just like, I don't know. We were just ready to get everything down and get our house a little bit more simplified. That is actually one of my biggest goals for 2019 is to totally declutter everything. Let me know if you guys would like to see those videos because I plan to go throughout our entire house and just declutter everything. I don't think we're gonna go completely minimal, but I wanna go more minimalistic in things and really only keep the things that we need because I feel like we spend so much time tidying up and organizing all the extra things that we really don't even need. So leave me a comment below if you guys would like to see those kind of videos. I go anywhere, anywhere with you Cause you feel my mind Oh, you feel my mind We could build a dream Start up something new Let the old be dead Let the shadows be my head When the world is on your shoulders And you feel like falling over Just come a little closer I'll be there for you, I'll be there for you Cause when we are together I know you feel the tension Just let me in so I can be there for you, there for you The night is young Won't you sing for me Won't you sing for me Till we fall asleep The night is young Won't you sing for me Won't you sing for me Till we fall asleep The night is young Won't you sing for me Won't you sing for me Till we fall asleep Do it on repeat Young. 
Won't you sing for me? Won't you sing for me? Till we fall asleep. The night is young. Won't you sing for me? Won't you sing for me? Till we fall asleep. The night is young. Won't you sing for me? Won't you sing for me? Till we fall asleep. The night is young. Won't you sing for me? Won't you sing for me? We do it on repeat. Everything looks so incredibly bare in our house right now because all I did was take down our decorations and I didn't really put our normal decorations back up. So I will be doing that this week because it definitely needs to happen soon. Okay, so we have a lot of the Christmas decor down, like most of it. So it started snowing outside. I'll see, I'll show you in just a second. But it started snowing a lot, so the boys are actually outside playing and Kyle and I are tackling the tree together. And then I think we were like done with Christmas, so it's pretty crazy. Where you move, make me blind. You will always be there. There's no doubt in my mind. You will always be the heading out to see ya and leave the rest behind. So as Kyle and I were taking down our Christmas tree and taking all the ornaments off, it just reminded me that this was our first Christmas in our new house and this is our forever home. And it reminded me of the video that I shared last year of taking down all of our Christmas decor for the last time in our South Dakota house. And that video was so bittersweet to me because we really did love South Dakota. We had so many friends there. We were just really comfortable there, but we were so excited to come to Utah and find our forever home. So if you guys have not watched that, you guys should definitely go back and watch it. I will be watching it today for sure because like I said, that was just such a bittersweet time. So I'm so thankful to have the memories of just watching that and just kind of remembering everything from there.
We can sleep under the stars, we can sleep under the stars Or hang out in hotel bars, driving somewhere in your car We can sleep under the stars, we can sleep under the stars Under the stars We can do what we like, like So the way that I store our seasonal throw pillows is just inside garbage bags. I feel like this is the best way to do it because if you put them into bins and totes, it just takes up so much room. So if you don't have the space, then definitely try out putting them into garbage bags. And my very favorite thing to do with throw pillows is actually to go ahead and just get pillow covers because that way you don't have like any storage barely and they are also really inexpensive. So anytime you can find some cute pillow covers, definitely snag them. They are so, so nice. We can sleep under the stars, we can sleep under the stars Or hang out in hotel bars, driving somewhere in your car We can sleep under the stars, we can sleep under the stars Baby, while we're young But I don't wanna know the truth I hear the things that they say about me But I don't wanna know the truth Don't you ever wanna run away Don't you ever wanna walk away Don't you ever wanna leave this place Cause I need you when the day's gone I would change, I would change for you I would break, I break these walls too And I would change I would change just for you And I would change, I would change for you And I would break, I break these walls too I would change, I would change just for you I can't get you out of my mind Right now you are sick of talking And that the fire seemed to fade now that all of our Christmas decor was taken down and put away downstairs, I just needed to vacuum. As you can see, our floor was so messy, probably a little bit messy from just not vacuuming for the last day or so. And also, all of the Christmas fallout was just all over the place, so I definitely needed to give this a really good vacuum. And then I'm also going to be mopping in a minute as well. I would break, I break these walls too And I would change, I would change just for you And I would change, I would change for you And I would break, I break these walls too I would change, I would change just for you I can't get you out of my mind
think right now you are sick of talking And I know we're hanging on to something Can't get you out of my mind I think right now you are sick of talking Can't get you out of my mind And I know we're hanging on to something I can't get you out of my mind The mop that I'm using today is just my E-Cloth Aqua Spray Mop. This one is so, so convenient because all you do is you just fill up this little container with water and then you just spray water on the floor as you go. You don't need to re-wet the mop or anything like that. There's no cords, no buckets, and all you have to clean with is just water. And in the cloth, like I said with the other E-Cloths, is it just has a technology where it's able to still disinfect the floors. So this is like the best of all worlds. I love this mop so much. I do still use my steam mop, but the steam mop, because it has a cord and everything, it's just a little bit more of a pain. And so this one is just my convenient. There's really no excuse not to mop your floor when it's this easy. So I hope you guys had a wonderful Christmas and have an amazing new year. I hope that this video is able to give you all the cleaning motivation that you are needing to kind of get out of that Christmas slump and get yourself back into the swing of things. You can go ahead and get all of the house cleaning done, get all of your Christmas put away, and get started fresh for the new year. And also be on the lookout because I will be sharing a second cleaning video this week and this is going to be an after dark video. I've been getting so, so many comments and so many requests for another after dark video because I know those are your guys' favorite videos of mine. So that will be going up later this week. Make sure you are subscribed and click that notification bell so that you don't miss it. It's going to be a really good one. I hope you guys have an amazing day and I will see you guys in my next one. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be doing an after dark clean with me. This is one of my most requested videos on my channel and I know I haven't done one in quite a while so I'm excited to go ahead and do this tonight. I figured this is a really good opportunity to do this because Kyle is actually out with Luke and Liam tonight just kind of having like a little boys night and Noah is unfortunately not feeling well. He is upstairs sleeping. So while he is sleeping, I am just going to go ahead and get the whole house kind of cleaned up and ready to go for the new year. 
and I figured I would go ahead and take you guys along with me and give you guys some cleaning motivation. So let's go ahead and get on into it. So the first thing that I like to do in the evening is just go ahead and close up our blinds. And I just want to say I apologize for my voice. If you can tell, I am a little bit sick. I'm feeling well now, but over the week we have kind of had a virus go throughout our family. And although I'm pretty much over it, my voice definitely still sounds pretty bad. So I do apologize for that. But if it sounds a little bit weird, that's what's going on. Songs are talking about. And I just want to tell her how I feel, scream it out loud. And then I just headed into the kitchen and started clearing off all of the counter. As you can see, we still had all of our dinner mess and a lot of other mess just all over the countertops. So I needed to get everything put away into their place. I also had some of the items that I had shared in my Grove Collaborative haul earlier this week left on the counter. So I needed to get those put away as well. And I did want to let you guys know that Grove has an amazing offer going on right now where you can get this entire set for free with your first order. So it comes with this really cute cleaning caddy, these walnut scrubber sponges, and then also the Mrs. Myers dish soap, hand soap, and multi-surface spray. And all you have to do is spend $20 and this entire set will come free with your order. I love Grove Collaborative so much. I use them all the time. I have been using them for over a year now and they have all kinds of cleaning products and personal products and they are all just a lot more natural and they are just better for your home and for your family. And one of my favorite things about them is they just deliver right to your door so it makes it so convenient. So I will just leave that link down in the description box in case if you are interested in checking them out. Have you felt like you were out of breath when you saw her in that dress? When your heart is beating fast and you're sweating, you can't stop looking at her smile. Then you've been in love. That's how you know you've been in love. Once our counters were cleared off, you can see I had a ton of dishes sitting in the sink. These were kind of an accumulation from dinner and then also things earlier in the day because I just had not gotten around to loading up the dishwasher. So I had a ton of dishes to get put into the dishwasher and then afterwards I just needed to hand wash all of the dishes that didn't go in the dishwasher. Let me know if you run your dishwasher at night. I have found over the last several years when I've been doing this that it just makes it so much nicer to run it at night and then wake up in the morning and get it unloaded and then you can kind of load it throughout the day on normal days that's what I do as you can see I did not do that here but usually we kind of load it a little bit throughout the day and then you never are stuck with an entire sink full of dishes like this but let me know if you like to run your dishwasher at night and unload it in the morning like I do or if you just kind of run it at different times throughout the day have you felt like you were out of breath when you saw her in that dress when your heart is beating fast and you're sweating you can't stop looking at her smile To keep it nice and clean, not freak out and cause a scene. I try to hold it together, keep it together, not sure who I really It always feels so good when our house is clean at night. I love waking up to it the next day, so I definitely prefer to clean at night as opposed to leaving it overnight and waking up and cleaning up in the morning. Let me know which you prefer if you are a morning cleaner or a nighttime cleaner. I am definitely, definitely a nighttime cleaner.
I don't know what it is exactly, but anytime I'm watching a cleaning video and I see the sink being cleaned, it is just so, so satisfying. It is definitely my very favorite. I also love vacuum lines, of course, but a clean sink is definitely just like my very favorite thing. And I always wash my sink out with dish soap anytime I have dishes sitting in there. These are two of my favorite items. I talk about them all the time because I get so many questions about them. And I get these from Grove Collaborative. You can also find them on Amazon, but these are just so convenient and they definitely save me a lot of dish soap. So what you do is you just put water in the bottom and then a little bit of dish soap, and then you can just push it down and it kind of sets up the soap for you. And because the sponges don't actually sit in the soapy water, it doesn't get gross or anything, but I just like to change mine out like maybe twice a week or so, and that always works really nice for me. So on this night, I decided to go ahead and change out my water because I was also going to be starting to use the new basil scent. I shared that I got this scent in a recent Grove haul and I have been loving it so much. It smells so fresh and clean. It's definitely one of my favorite Mrs. Meyer scents. So naturally, once I had washed all of my dishes and I had washed out my sink, I realized that I had forgotten our big pan. Let me know if this happens to you guys. I feel like this happens to me all the time. So Luke had a birthday present sitting on our counter and he turned eight over this last week. I cannot believe that my oldest son is eight. It is so crazy to me where the time has gone. It's always bittersweet anytime your kids have birthdays, but it was really fun celebrating his birthday last week. They were in high school when they met and things got kind of awkward with sparks in the air. He would stare at her in class and she would try to act cool. But it was obvious, like, ooh, they would be together, ooh. And one day she said, write me a love song, cause I know you'll make it beautiful. And maybe I'll call you my sweetheart. Promise nobody can steal me away Then I am yours Cause I want you and I wanted you to know He looked at her and then he smiled Picked up a pen and paper And started writing Probably something about her eyes And how they're always shining Or something cliche like ooh Baby, I only want you. This is definitely not a deep cleaning at all, but I do usually like to wipe down my stove, especially if we've cooked that day, which usually we have. I usually like to wipe my stove down every night or every other night, and I notice that when I really take care of it like that, I don't have to sit there and scrub things off. It's just usually as easy as spraying something on and wiping it off or also just using my eat cloths. Let me know if that's something that you guys do, if you guys like to do that kind of thing regularly or if you just kind of wait till it builds up a little bit and then give it some elbow grease. As he sang, she started to dance, grabbed his arm and took his hand. He held her close under the moonlight as they kept on dancing. Moving into our living room, it was pretty messy in here. We just had a lot of toys kind of sprawled across everywhere. So I just went ahead and curled all the toys into our little toy bin that we have at the bottom of the stairs. And then I also put all these little blocks up on the stairs to take them upstairs for the boys to put them away the next day. Mm -hmm. 
I've talked about this a lot of times, but really our toy bin saves us so much just to kind of corral your kids' toys in your main living area and then it makes it easier to move it back into their playroom or bedroom. Do you guys have one of those too? Or do you just kind of do it the regular way and take everything up on its own? If you are doing it that traditional way, I definitely recommend trying out a toy bin. It makes life so much easier and it really makes your living space a lot cleaner and a lot easier to clean because you can just throw everything in there. And even though things aren't actually put away perfectly, they do really look a lot nicer and tidier. Next, I just wanted to clean off our couch and our couch doesn't have removable covers at all so I can never wash them. So unless if I wanna pull out our carpet cleaner and just like really deep clean them that way, this is the only way that I've found that I can spot clean our couch. So all you do is you just spray on some window cleaner. My favorite one that I have found is the Method window cleaner, but you can really use any kind. And you just spray it on and then just wipe it off with a cloth and kind of scrub it out and it will dry perfectly. It won't leave water spots or anything, and we do have a microfiber couch, so I'm not sure if this works great on other style couches and other materials, but if you have a microfiber couch, this works amazing. Before I was pretty much done with the main living area, I just wanted to go ahead and wipe down our trash can and then also take our trash out because it was pretty full. This is something that I usually wait for Kyle to do because I don't know what it is, I just do not really like taking the trash out. So that's kind of unofficially one of his jobs that he just does in the house. But on this night, I decided to go ahead and take it out and just get it done. We fly After that, I just started moving into our bedroom and getting everything tidied up in here. It wasn't really too terrible, but I had a lot of miscellaneous items, especially the things that I'd kind of left in here from filming that Grove haul in here earlier in the day. So I needed to get all of that cleared up and then I also had to get some laundry done because there is always laundry to do. I've shared my laundry routine before, so I will actually link it up here in an iCard for you guys if you haven't seen it before. But I feel like our laundry routine is pretty simple, although I still don't love putting away clothes. It definitely makes it nice just to kind of break it up throughout the week. Let me know if you have one day that is just devoted to laundry and you just tackle all the laundry in the house. Or if you break it up throughout the week just kind of trying to get one load a day done or two loads a day. Let me know in the comments below how you work out your laundry in your house. Will I cry? Will I leave behind? signs hiding all my roads to you uh oh and if I fight will I come to life calling for all your light giving all my heart to you uh oh I've been falling, I've been lost And I've been calling on my ghosts I put it to rest because I'm coming home, coming home Oh And I've been 
carried, I've been dragged And I've been lucky, torn inside I put it to rest because I'm coming home, coming home Once my room was nice and clean, I just wanted to give my bathroom a quick wipe down. This is not a day that I was taking everything off the counter and giving it a really good clean. These wipes have been so convenient just for quick wipe downs like this when you don't want to pull out all of your cleaners or all of your rags or anything. When you just want to kind of freshen up the room but it's not the day that you're planning to deep clean that room. So these have become one of my favorite little wipes for really quick cleans like this. And I've been lucky torn inside. I put it to rest because I'm coming home, coming home, I'm coming home. Then the very last thing that I needed to do was just focus on our floors a little bit. Normally I would go ahead and still vacuum even though it's a little bit late because our boys are good sleepers. But as I said, the other boys were actually out tonight, but Noah was sick and I really did not want to bother waking him at all or risk it. So on this night, I just went ahead and swept everything up with a broom. And as funny as it is, I actually do not own a dustpan. I do have a broom which I will use for like small jobs usually or sometimes late at night like this, but I will just go ahead and sweep it into our central vac system that I've shared in other videos. But as I've said in recent videos, Kyle has been working on our basement and our central vac system is actually kind of closed off right Right now because Kyle has been doing some construction down there so I'm really looking forward to that being turned on because I didn't realize how much I use it but for now I just did a quick vacuum of vacuuming up all the little crumbs that I had swept up so once everything was nice and clean I just went ahead and snuggled up on my bed and watched some shows I have been watching some of the ones that you guys have been recommending to me recently so I always love your guys's Netflix and Hulu recommendations you guys always have the best shows that you recommend to me and if you ever have more shows that you find that you want to share with me I am all ears I am always looking for something else to watch whenever I have some downtime I messed it up and I should have treated you much better, so much better. I miss you so bad, won't you come back to me? I've got you in my head, you're all... So I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me on this After Dark Clean with me, and I hope that this gave you all the cleaning motivation that you need. Do not forget to subscribe down below if you are not already and also head over to Instagram and follow me over there and be sure that you have that notification bell turned on as well because I have some amazing videos as well as some giveaways coming up. You guys do not want to miss out on these. So be sure that that bell is turned on so you do not miss my future uploads. I hope you guys have an amazing day and I will see you guys in my next one. Thank you.